soils to a depth of about, gosh, on the high side, that looks like it's about 12 inches. On the low side, it's about 10 inches. Over the years, we've gradually uh, leveled off this slope or come close to leveling it off just simply by adding more chips. Over the years, they've also decomposed and broken down with the assistance of worms and little mycology in the soil. And now they look something like this. Anyway, this is very, very rich soil. This is what I plant my vegetables in. If I back up, you can see I have an apple tree here in the middle of the garden growing. A lot of people would say, hey, that's a terrible idea. You got your veggies and your apples in the same place. Let me dispel any myths. Apple trees will grow wherever you plant them, and if there's Eden soil nearby, they're more than happy to grow into it. Even though these particular apple trees, there's two of them here, were planted directly in the dirt below the Eden soil, I'm going to show you here. You can see just in the rays of sunlight right there, the, um, the root system actually prefers the Eden soil. The anchors are still down in the dirt, but all of those feelers are exploring the nutritious value of the soil everywhere. They're more than happy. You can see we're not doing a whole lot in the garden right now. All of my greenhouses are just frames. But this right here, this is the reason for today's work. We're going to be installing this box into the ground. There's a screen on the bottom of it. It measures about two foot by four foot. It's 14 inches tall and it's made from sheet metal with a metal screen on the bottom. I simply attached it using screws and some uh, other uh, uh, folded metal pieces. I think in the heating and air industry they call them uh, S-lock or something like that. Uh, don't quote me, don't hate me. I am not a professional heating and air guy, but I know someone who is, so I was able to get these by his suggestion and use them. They worked fantastic to hold the screen in place. I think that if the screen, in fact, does wear out, it'll be easy to replace. Anyway, that box is going here, and the reason that box is here is because we previously had a pretty bad condition where we had Japanese beetles invading our growing area. They were eating the leaves on my grapevines. Uh, they would eat anything else, I think, that they preferred if they could. But the biggest problem was the nuisance grubs that were growing in the soil. Uh, the Japanese beetle would lay their young into the soil, and Eden soil is definitely preferential. So that box is going in that hole. The moles and voles that are here to eat those grubs should be foiled effectively by the sheet metal and the screen on the bottom. My intent is to plant carrots in that very fine media. You can see some more here. I've, uh, I've shown this before on the group. It's full of life, it's full of mycology, it's full of worms. You can put it in your hands, you can squeeze it your hands, you can see right there the moisture. This is what we're looking for, this is fertility. These little buggers right here, they're just roots from the apple tree and other things that were growing here. The worms and the soil biology will be more than happy to consume them right in place. I'm sure if I fished around here enough I could find several of the worms that I transferred to this mix. Anyway, I'm going to drop that in, I'll take some pictures, complete the video, and maybe we'll post it today. Hope you enjoyed watching.